Well, in just a few days, one of the most popular stores in downtown Austin will shut down, even though it's only been open a week. We're talking about the pop-up Apple Store at the corner of 6th and Congress. It's already brought in big crowds during South by Southwest. Chris Sadge is live now on Congress Avenue, where they hope it is a sign of things to come. Chris? Yes, Shannon, it takes an hour just to get into that Apple store if you're waiting in line. You come here a block down the road and check this out. No lines, just the regular Austin-owned businesses we've come to know on Congress. However, if a store like Apple moves in permanently, it could be a game changer for the entire street. My hope and aspiration would be that they'd put a store here permanently. With that trademark symbol lighting up the windows, you would never think Apple was just borrowing this place. But since they got so comfortable, some wonder, why don't they just stay? I mean, I think it's nice to be able to have something big walking distance. And something big is just what some want Congress Avenue to become. Jessica Villarreal and her friend Sarah work downtown, and having something like this is a change they welcome. The line on the street maybe looks a little out of place, but I bet all these people also probably go to Jamba Juice and Starbucks. And that's exactly why the Downtown Alliance is trying to woo some big national stores to a street that is made up mostly of locally owned businesses. They want Congress Avenue to remain uniquely Austin with local groceries and dry cleaning, but they also want it to be a street the whole country knows about. Stores like Apple, Patagonia, Joseph Bank, they're in places like Manhattan and Chicago and Vancouver. Molly Alexander with the DAA says it's a vision that developed for Congress last year. There are buildings now that are underutilized, and Apple's success in just a matter of days could bring in more big names, which also helps the little guy. We don't want it all nationals, but we need a few of them to add to the appeal. And Royal Blue Grocery does say they see a lot of people coming in with the little Apple bags, and it has provided a boost to business. As for staying here permanently, Apple has given no indication that that will happen. However, as the Downtown Alliance optimistically said, they haven't said it won't happen either. We're live downtown. Chris Sadegi, KXAN, Austin News.